Let's walk through how to get set up using On One Photo Raw 2020. And a great place to start is your preferences. To access my preferences, I can either head over to the left side of my screen and click this icon, or I can head up to my top bar, and in On One Photo Raw 2020, we can click Preferences. If you're using a Windows computer, go up to the top bar, select File, and then hit Preferences. In our Preferences pane, we can modify the look of the application, the file types that we modify, how it works as a plugin with Lightroom and Photoshop, and also our cloud services. So let's start in this General tab here. The first thing we can modify in the General tab is the scrolling controls. This will allow us to use the scrolling on our mouse to preview zoom, preview pan, or modify brush size. Below that we have preview background color. This will change the color behind the photo whenever we're in detail view mode. So let's change ours to white. And now if we click OK, and we click on a photo, it's changed the preview color to white. So let's go back to our preferences, and we'll change it back to dark gray. Below that we have accent color. If we change the accent color, this will change the color for whatever is highlighted or selected. And if you need to change the application language, you can do that in this menu here. Below that we have default browse location. This is going to be the folder that opens up whenever you open On One Photo Raw. Now let's go into files. With the files tab, we can choose what file types are saved if we're using an external editor such as Lightroom or Photoshop, and also if we're editing photos inside of Resize. So I tend to keep mine at a PSD, but you can choose a TIFF or a JPEG. And then we can choose our color space, our bit depth, and our resolution. And below that, with sidecar options, I would recommend keeping this turned on. And then we have these two options down here. Apply lens correction automatically to raw photos. I tend to keep this on just to save a little bit of time when editing, but you could always turn it off if you want to apply lens correction manually. And then if you're shooting with RAW plus JPEG, and you don't want to see both of the photos, you can turn this on to just see one of the images. And now we can head up to Plugins. This is where we can modify how PhotoRAW is used as a plugin with Photoshop and Lightroom. So for sending a photo from Photoshop over, this is going to determine where those results are applied to. I'd recommend using copy of the current layer, but if you want the results applied to the current layer that you're working on inside Photoshop, then you can choose this option. And then we have our Lightroom options. So for modifying a photo inside of Lightroom, and we send it to Photo Raw via the File, Plugin, Extras menu, this is the file type that's going to be sent over. So we can choose any of these file types in here, but if you're modifying a raw file, it's going to be a PSD. So I tend to keep this at PSD. And then we can choose our color space, our bit depth, and our resolution. And we'll move on to system. In the Systems tab, let's head down to our Browse Cache here. If you're using a smaller laptop or a computer with a smaller SSD, you may want to move your Browse Cache so that it's not taking up so much space on your computer. You can also lower the cache size as well. Below that, we have our Performance here. So with Performance, this has a lot to do with your panning and your brushing. So let's start over here with Fast Panning and Fast Preview. With these two options selected, Whenever you're panning around a photo or you're using a masking brush, it's going to soften up the image to maintain smoothness of the panning and the brushing. With our video card strength, if we're using an older computer, we can pull this down to low, and that's going to soften up the image a bit more, but it's going to maintain that brush smoothness. And if we're using a higher end computer, we can pull up to high, and it will maintain the nice sharpness of that image, all while keeping the smoothness of the brush and the panning. I tend to keep mine kind of in the middle, but you can modify it to whatever computer that you're using. And now let's head up to Services. And with the Services tab, this just allows us to choose which of these services show up in our cloud storage area. So I'm just going to head down and click OK. 